what are we watching today, Sue? We are watching Roma against Juventus. We're watching Roma against Juventus. This is Sue. She's one of the biggest Roma supporters in New York City. What's your fan club called, Sue? Lupi di New York. Lupi di New York. This is the fan club right now. There's loads of people back here. <laughs> All right, the game has just kicked off. What score are you predicting, Sue? Um, I think that would be rude for me to predict the score because it's not a positive one for my club. Well, what, what, what would your optimistic prediction be? <laughs> I hope that we don't lose more than 2-0. <laughs> Two minutes in, it's 1-0. To Juve. What's the story with your defense, Sue? They're at home and everything. Yeah. I found another Roma supporter here. What's your name? Dave. The start isn't very good, is it? No. I was hoping we would at least hold on to like half time. Then the third minute, uh, it's just Roma. Penalty for Juve. Ronaldo steps up. 2 0 after 10 minutes. Ronaldo's hair. It's looking bad. Because that's the best you can cling to, Sue. The fact that Ronaldo's hair isn't what it should be at the moment. Oh my god, get the fuck up. Well, no, I mean, did something really bad happen to him, though? Because, like, I don't want to be a total asshole about this. Whatever. They should invest in better jerseys. We've been joined by a Villa fan. What score was your game today? I can't remember. Like, 11 6, my name. What score was Villa's game today? Yeah, it was 11 1. 6 1. They lost 6 1, just to be clear about that. And I've got some cunt recording it just to rub it in. Cheers, pal. You'll never forget it. What made you become a Roma supporter? Um, I love Rome. It is the best city in the world. Free kick. Great opportunity, Sue. Great opportunity. Who's your uh, dead ball expert? Kolarov. Since Kolarov joined Roma like three years ago, the only person with more free kick goals in Europe is Messi. Always. Oh, oh my God. All hell's broken loose in the Spanish Super Cup final. Like there's some games where it's like there's always going to be a fight on the field, you know? Have you given up on your game? No, I'm back to my game, but there was a moment of like, you know, excitement in the Madrid Derby for the Super Cup Is there any sign of improvement? No. Here's it let the go! Sue, language. Sorry. Half time. 2 0. Juve. Sorry about that, Sue. And now it is the final of the Spanish Super Cup. We've got the penalties. We've got one Atletico fan here. 1 0. Rail. Oh my god, no! No! The problem with being a Real Madrid supporter is the same problem of being like a Juventus supporter. It's like, how can you look at yourself in the mirror and still respect yourself being a supporter of one of these ridiculously stupid major clubs? I really don't see how anybody can support either of those clubs and look themselves in the mirror and have any sense of dignity. They won? Yeah. That's it. You have no dignity, no self-respect if you're a Real Madrid I'm sorry, man. Uh, it's okay. Will you be okay? I think I'll survive. What does your shirt say? It says Juve te odio. Which means? Juventus, I hate you. What would you like to see more from Roma in the second half? We need a more balanced attack. That's my main thing right now. Roma supporter, rail supporter. Roma supporter, rail supporter. You, you can't include that. They're children. You can't like, I'm sorry. do that without oh, like, okay. parental... Fine. Like, I mean, we look, seem to be having the ball more, and we're not really doing much in this final third, which is what happened in the first half, too. Bye! Bye! Now! Yes! Oh, oh, so oh, close again! again. Oh, again! It hit the, took the, first hit the front post, and then it hit the back post. I think there's hope, Sue. I think there's hope. I'm very good. I'm very good at okay. sensing these we'll things. It. Big moment. Well, it was a handball. What did I say just two seconds ago, Sue? I said I think there's a way back into this okay, game. I hope you're right. I would like to see this turn around. Forza Roma. Yes! yes. Oh, yeah.
Penalty for Roma. Who's taking him? Perotti. Is he good at these? Here he goes. Yeah. He steps up. He shoots. Yeah! Yes! Christ. Oh my god, why did you do that? Are there any players on the Roma team vegan? <laughs> yes, they're smalling. What? Chris Smalling. Chris Smalling's vegan. He was featured in the most recent issue of Veg News magazine also. Ah! You you subscribe to Veg News Magazine. Veg News Magazine. Yeah. What's the latest news on courgettes? Well, first of all, we call it zucchini. Any updates on the L uh, <laughs> turnips? Oh my god. Ronaldo! You would have put your house on Ronaldo scoring there. No, you wouldn't. You would have. It was a point blank header. What's the most versatile veg? I mean, it, it might actually be cauliflower because it's used to make like cauliflower rice. You can make cauliflower steak. You can make buffalo cauliflower. You can also use it at, in pizza crust. It's probably cauliflower. Also, it tastes delicious and it's really good for your liver. It's crossed in. Oh! Ah, no! Fucking A! Sorry. That's Smalling. He's awesome. Uh, what? What do you think the injury time will be? Go. Three. Three. I say four. And it's five! They're smalling. Uh, oh my. What they can't seem to do is cross the ball well. No. Or shoot from range very well. No. Or take corners very well. 94 minutes, it's now or never. Oh, God. Is it me or does Jekko let no, you down at the most crucial moments? Well, you know, a few years ago we used to call him 50 50 Jekko. That's it, Shirley. Yeah. Sorry, Sue. Where do people uh, learn all about you? Uh, we're on Facebook, Loopy in New York. Or find us here at Smithfield, the best football bar in New York City. Oh my god, what a disappointment. That's it, folks. <laughs> okay.